TNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Monday, the 10th of June. We're looking at uh, the Dow of 28 at 38,829 on this uh Tight Financial News Network, 10 o'clock market update. So um, it was kind of weak on Friday. There's a chance that we make a peak A today. Uh, the technicals are not that strong. Uh, we're looking at the S&P, slightly different here. The S&P <clears throat> had a good Friday, made an all-time high. And today's kind of weak down 11 at 53.36. Looking at the QQ, uh, that means it could be a peak D today. We'll see what happens. Uh, QQQ is the NDX 100, and that's trading um, down 1.07 at 461.92. All-time high yesterday, I mean Friday. Uh, all the weekly charts are still very good. IWM is actually lagging quite a bit. Even though it's a little green candle here, it's down $1.15 at 200.07, just making lower lows and lower highs. Not so good. Even the weekly chart is starting to deteriorate. Ha, gold. Gold got smashed on Friday. But today it's down just three. Um, it hasn't made a new uh, unrecovery low. What do you call it? A, a new multi-day low. Um, it's down at the 23.22 area. Uh, that weekly chart is just starting to weaken a little bit, but that 9 is still over the 14, and that's a really good sign. The SI, that's the uh, silver, <clears throat> trading right at the um, inside track uh, propellant zone. It's up 19 cents at 29.63, made a peak E in the weekly chart. Um, the S that you see right here in the daily chart, that is the first time that you've seen that S come about since about uh, early May. That means the nine period moving average now it's an intraday. So just at this particular moment, it's pink. If it says pink through the close, it means the first time that it's actually turned negative. That's not a good sign. Let's go to the dollar. The dollar had a very strong session on Friday. So today's an even stronger session, uh, considering it's a follow-up session. It's up 46 cents at 105.34. That really saved the day because that, that weekly chart is holding very nicely. I want to go to bonds. Our bonds right now are down again, eight, down over a half a point. So yields are going up. I think that's going to worry the market at some point. But what we're seeing is a rotation through the different sectors. I'll be back. We'll talk about the semiconductors and a lot of other things. As soon as I return for the Tiger Technicians Hour, check out my open call, my daily newsletter. See you in a few moments. <laughs>